Hey Sycamores, welcome to Almost Live. I'm your host, Sadie Murahi. Today we're talking to Allison Lozano, the president of Alpha Delta Phi. Almost Live starts right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you for joining us today. Would you start by introducing yourself? Yeah, so I'm Allison Lozano. Obviously, as you said, I'm the president of Alpha Alpha Phi Society here on campus. Um, I also go by Vic, and then I'm also um, work at the HMSU. I'm a sophomore, so this is like my first like full year. Um, I'm also our recruitment chair and our social chair. I think I plan all of our fun like interpersonal members only events. Yeah, that's about it. What is Alpha Delta Phi Society? Yeah, so we're a Greek org, and the society just means that we're gender inclusive so that anyone can join. It's not just like a fraternity where it's guys or a sorority where it's girls, it's anyone. Um, we do a lot, we're trying to work on philanthropy events. We've been working a lot on like our interpersonal stuff, like biolog and stuff like that. So we haven't been super active on campus more recently, but we're trying to get back out there, do some stuff. Yeah, and why did you decide to make your Greek org more inclusive? Yeah, so our founders, for the like bringing it to um, ISU, wanted to have like a place where especially queer people, the emphasis on queer people, um, could feel more involved in Greek life. That can be scary, but especially for all people who are like um, don't even have they're like gender nonconforming. It can be really scary not to have a place if you want to be involved in a Greek org. But um, so they decided to bring a society because it was gender inclusive, and they liked where it was literary based um, because it was you know connecting to all of them. They were all like academics. And then the founder of like the whole national thing, we were originally a fraternity, and he was like, hey guys, women should also be allowed to read and do things. So he decided to make the society to break away from that. It was really interesting, it was really cool read. Yeah, and speaking of literary based, could you go more into depth about that? Yeah, so uh, while we're social, like a social organization where people all just hang out and stuff, we also have an emphasis on the literary element, which is just, um, not just books, it's also things like music, and games and art. We have a huge emphasis on art, especially in art chapters. We have a lot of people who do art. Um, we also do this cool thing every um, semester called LitXs, which is where um, the members can um, present things that they enjoy that are literary based. So like, I'm doing mine over Ethel Kane music. Other people have presented art in the past. It's a really cool event. I really like it a lot. How can students join if they're interested? Yeah, so um, we have recruitment events up until I believe November. Um, we have a coffee shop stop at Little Bear this weekend. We also um, have info sessions. So to join, you have to go to at least two events that are recruitment events. Um, and then one of those has to be an info session. And we have two more this semester, I believe. If students want more information, who can they contact? Yeah, so we have a Gmail, which is like, I the whole fi. We also have an Instagram ran by our amazing social media manager who will like, get you in contact with everybody that you need to be in contact with. I think that's about the best place to contact us. Thank you. That's all the time we have for today. If you have any suggested guests for Almost Live, send us an email at isu-sycamorevideo at indstate.edu or like us on our Facebook page at sycamorevideo-isu-studentmedia. See you next week, Sycamores.